Back in 2007, I had a horseback riding accident and I found myself here at Ruby. I was in a lot of pain, I was fearful, and my nurses figured out that I liked music. And so they got a man to come in and play the mandolin for me. That was about five or six days into my recovery and I really felt that was a watershed moment. That indeed I felt seen, I felt heard, about seven years after that, I was introduced to aromatherapy. And I believe that using aromatherapy could actually be similar to music. And so I began kind of campaigning to see it come into healthcare. The randomized controlled clinical trial that is ongoing uses bergamot essential oil. And bergamot is a fruit. Um, I chose bergamot essential oil because it's very similar to lavender. It is helpful to help people ramp down, decrease their stress, decrease their anxiety. This is something that you can get locally. This is something you can order online. Even the most remote parts of Appalachia, places who can't get another integrative modality like acupuncture, they could find aromatherapy. You can go to an aromatherapist and you can have a consultation and that might require some cost, it might require a bit of travel or something, but you can also use essential oils and aromatherapy in your own home. You can use a diffuser. So I would take some lavender, put the water in there first, one, two drops in there, putting the lid on, it plugs in, it'll come right out with the steam kind of like when you would use a steamer when you were sick. Something like this, it's called a multi-purpose mask spray. So they spray that on there and they freshen them. They could use it to freshen the pillow. And then, you know, the aroma inhaler. Take a sniff. There are tons of products that use essential oils and that call themselves aromatherapy. However, the vehicle and the carrier um, like candles, sometimes candles provide some more into your environment that you really want. They're not as healthy as you want them to be. Fragrance does not always equal aromatherapy.